My Costco is fully stocked with water, as you can see. It is Costco time, girl. It is time to get into Costco for March. Um, I just got my March booklet, but unfortunately, I'm just a few days short away from when these sales start, but I will go through the pamphlet and show you um, what they have. Um, I don't need a lot from Costco. I do need some meats, um, just a few things, some heavy cream, some chicken breasts. I'm gonna get, um, yeah, and some bread, that kind of stuff. Not a whole lot on my list, but let's go through the savings so we can see what they have. Obviously, Easter is coming, so they have the jelly beans on. So I still have mine from last year. The girls still eat on it sometimes, uh, but that's $4 off. They have the pull-up, $7 off. Pediasure, $8 off. Of course, they have clothes. Of course, springtime, so that any kind of um, issues with allergies. And then they have this bed, it's so pretty. I love it. I don't know if the color's picking up on camera well, but it's uh, like a navy, deep navy blue bed. $6.99, Thomasville Queen. Uh, furniture, of course more clothes. They always have a Dyson on sale, seems like. But then they have the IMAX for $200 off if you're in the market for that. And then I have this snapware piece at home. I love it, it's $4 off. It's glass, oh no, this one's plastic. Oh, the one I have is glass. I like that one. Let's see. Rice Krispie Treats, Cheez-Its. They have soft soap, $3 off. Pirate's Booty, $2 off. Some Ritz Crackers. They, oh, I might get some more Annie's Mac and Cheese, too. That's $4 off. My girls like that. But we never use all the boxes before they expire, so maybe I shouldn't. They have the O Cedar Mop, $10 off. Now would be a great time to get that because it's best to get the one here because it, you, it comes with extra mop heads. And Tide, Crescent Rolls, $3.40 off. Yep, all right, that's it. Let's get into the store. Uh, I am freaking out a little bit, uh, only because I don't have any wipes for the cart, but I think I have a little mini bottle of Lysol in my purse that I keep. Oh, they're giving out wipes, thankfully, to wipe the cart down. But I don't even want to touch the car until she gives me the wipes. So that's what I'm going to do. I just ran into Deanna. Hi, Deanna. If you're watching, it was so nice meeting you. Uh, I love running into you guys. I think it's so fun. But um, I was able to wipe down the car, disinfect it thoroughly. Costco just has a clothes out in the car. It's really getting ready for spring. I'm ready for spring too, to be quite honest, because I can't wait for this cold and flu season to be done with. Um, I you guys remember my last Costco haul, I talked about this. They had this really cute sweatshirt, the Fila sweatshirt. It was black. Uh, I had Fila in different colors. I kind of really wish I would have bought it. Flashback. This is so cute. This Fila sweatshirt. Is it not adorable? End of flashback. I just think it's cute. I thought about it for like a couple days. I didn't, of course, I didn't run back to Costco to see if they have it, but I'm gonna look to see if they have them here. If they do have them, girl, I think I'm gonna treat myself. I am, I am. And then I'm probably gonna pick up some toilet paper and some paper towels for my parents because I don't want them out uh, coming out. Um, you know, they are a part of that group that really can't get sick like that, really shouldn't. So, um, I may get them that, but I don't know, we'll see. They have Airborne here. We've never seen this sold here before. $16.49, and then they have the gummies for adults, $16.49. I give the girls, they have the kids Airborne in the orange gummies like this, um, and I've given that to the girls before. $16.49, that's kind of expensive, because you can get like a little bit smaller of a, of a container from Target for $9.99. They still have them. They don't have many left. I don't know, I feel like I'll need an extra large, not just a large. What do you think? I mean, I can always bring her back, right? I can always bring her back, right? Ah, uh, oh no, it's $14.99. All right, I'm gonna put it in my car and think about it. Is it crazy for me to try it on? I'm gonna try it on over my sweater. I'm crazy, I know. If I can fit it over my sweater, that means I can fit it, right? All right, I hope you guys can hear me. I feel like such a fool. <coughs> oh 
gosh, somebody's coughing. Hold on. Uh -uh. Somebody coughs. The girl I run. Okay, just moved. <laughs> All right. Okay, I can fit it over my sweater. That's a plus. I wish I had pockets. Would be perfect. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I have really pretty Thomasville gray rugs, kind of like tribal print almost. And then that one, pretty. The girls love these apples. Um, last time I got them though, they looked kind of. One of them or two of them were kind of bad in the bag, which is frustrating. So I'm gonna really look this time. I know they're dirty, but. I want to make sure none of them are soft. Who wants a soft apple? How much the organic raspberries are? Wow. Now you can buy two. I want to say they're $3.99, maybe three sixty-nine. dollars a, a container at Aldi for the organic raspberries. Of course, the containers are half of this, but you could still buy two of them. So, But um, Ava loves raspberries. But I just bought some from, um, like I said, I stopped buying my fruit from Costco because these prices add up, girl. They add up. So now the non-organic is really cheap, $4.59 for this large container. Um, so if you don't eat organic, that would that would be helpful. Oh, the Brussels sprouts have gone up. They used to be, I want to say $5.99. Um, the same bag that I would get. I like Brussels sprouts. Me, Ava, and Charles will eat them. Ava, Zara will not. She might be too eater. But I also bought some asparagus this week from Aldi, so I know she'll eat that. Wow, the organic party wings went up. I don't even believe they were this expensive last time. I want to say they were around $12. Maybe it's just because this one is really heavy. But it seems like most of them are around $16. I'm not going to eat them though. My husband doesn't eat them as much. Um, me and Ava are really the ones who like them the most. So I'm just going to get some chicken breast tenderloins. They don't have much left over here. Go ahead and get these. Let's see. I need to look at the price. I like to stay around 25. That looks like a good one. These are so pretty. Makes me want to buy two. A purple and a pink. They're gorgeous. They're hydrangeas. I love purple hydrangeas. My wedding colors were um, purple and green. We had like a lot of purple hydrangeas and peonies. So pretty. Look at these vegetable planters. Tomatoes, they have tomatoes, they have um, bell peppers. Look at that one growing there. It makes me want to like buy it and think, you know, I can just continue to grow them. They have jalapenos. Oh, so cool. Eggplants over there. My Costco is fully stocked with water, as you can see. And paper towels. Do they have toilet paper though? Let's check. Wow, you see that sign up there? It says, let me, while I zoom in. It says, due to high demand, we are limiting paper products to two per membership. Wow, that's crazy. Girl, this is all the toilet paper they have left. Look, $22.99 Scott. I don't even use Scott, but I'm gonna grab it for my parents so that they have it. They use Scott brand. They have no Kirkland toilet paper, which is nuts to me. Wow, I cannot believe that toilet paper. That's all they have left. And people are like lined up with their carts to get some. Like I had to stand in line to get one of those toilet papers. I'm getting some for my parents because I know that they use Scots and they need some. Um, and so I'm getting some for them. But I'm just like, whoa, that is like, I've never seen it like that here at Costco. Now I'm curious to see if they have any antibacterial gel. They probably don't, but um, I'm gonna look to see if they have any left. They have a lot of Clorox bleach. Um, out like they have that 10.59 for three of those large jugs um but yeah that's that's wild wow they're really starting to sell a lot of method products here now they have the floor cleaner i've used this before on my um uh hardwood floors it smells very good it has like that almond scent and you get three for 11.79 that's a good deal because one of these i believe is 5.99 at target i don't know if it's a smaller version but that's a good price i'm gonna get some lemonade the girls are just about out it's only 5.89 you get two which to me is um is an okay price that's why i still get this here i definitely don't get the apple juice from here though you know i get that from all here's the oh cedar mop that's gonna be um 
ten dollars off, so instead of thirty eight ninety nine, you're gonna pay twenty eight ninety nine. And again, you get the extra mop heads with it, so that's a good deal. I get some queso cheese. Fit it in the budget for this taco kit because I love it so much. And it's great for taco night. Who's ready for the summer adventures? I know I am. I am here for it. Oh, look at the eggs. Reese's peanut butter egg. peanut butter cup eggs. Yummy. Looks so good. $8.99 for that bag though, girl. Did it me or did the price of hot dogs just spike up? $13.59? I don't remember them being that expensive here at Costco. I want to say they were $9.99. Correct me if I'm wrong though. To me, that's just too much. I like to have them in my freezer, but that's just too much for me for hot dogs. You might as well just go to Kroger or something. That's too much. Time to get some more string cheese. My baby girl loves those. Um, Zara. I think I need some more sour cream too. Sour cream is $3.89 and the string cheese is, what is it? Oh, $7.99. They have the monk fruit sweetener here. $8.99, you can use this. Um, you know, it's great for keto. If you're, it's a sugar replacement, one-to-one -one sugar replacement. You can use this instead of um, like sweet leaf drops or, or liquid stevia or something like that. I was gonna make my own um, coffee creamer because Keto Connect just posted a video on how to make your own coffee creamer. So I think I'm gonna try it using the monk fruit sweetener. We tried the Aldi Hawaiian rolls, as you guys suggested. And I must say, there's just nothing like the King's Hawaiian rolls. They're just, I don't know. It's something about them that tastes so good. Uh, my kids didn't notice the difference, but my husband and I did. I did have one. Um, so I'm just gonna pay the $5.59. <laughs> for the kings of wine rolls um, but mostly it's my kids who eat these I mean my husband will have some with dinner sometimes I'll just put some out for dinner but I'm just gonna get those everybody has been raving about this new low-carb bread that Costco carries my Costco must be the only Costco that does not carry it yet and I'm like when are they gonna carry it I want to have some low-carb bread too now they do have gluten-free bread multi-grain bread and all of that. Oh, I need to get some more naan bread for our homemade pizza nights. But that's about it. They don't have, this is gluten free. They don't have the low carb bread here. Do you, does your Costco carry it? Leave a comment down below and let me know. I'm gonna come over to this section to see if they have any antibacterial gel. They probably don't, but I'm gonna look anyway. This is the only fruit snacks that they have. I should have bought the Annie's when I had a chance, but it's $2.50 off or $7.39 for the moths, but I like to get my girls the organic fruit snacks. Mm. Where's the Kerrygold butter? I'm so upset, girl, where is my butter? Can you believe this? $12.99 for the Kerrygold butter? Since when? It was $11.99. Come on, Costco. Is this because of the frenzy? I, I just don't, I've never seen it this high. They have their vests out. I wanna get Zara a new vest, cause I think she has, yeah, this is, we have two of these, but the weight limit on here is, what is it, 33 to 55? But it's time for her now to move up to this, which is 55 to 88 pounds, it's cute. I mean, my girls know how to swim, but sometimes they get tired. And so then they just want to put their vest on and float around and play around. And I let them do that because if, you know, they get tired but they don't want to get out of the water, I just put their vest on them. So, anyway, it's $29.99. So my budget was $100 for this shirt, y'all. And I have to be honest, I forgot my cash envelope. Yes, I know. I still love my cash envelopes. They're linked in the description box if you're interested. But I did forget them this trip right on my kitchen counter. But I'm still using cash even though, you know, cash is incredibly dirty. Um, you gotta continue to wash your hands and all that kind of stuff. But um, I just spent a lot of money here. And I just feel like the Costco um, is going up on the prices. I I'm just really disappointed. Now, the lady did say they were gonna have Kirkland brand toilet paper tomorrow. But I bet it'll be $20 instead of the normal $16.99. That's just not right. Okay, so here's everything I got. Let me go through it and share with you the prices. Uh, the organic lemonade was $5.89. The sour cream was $3.89. The eggs were $3.39. The organic Brussels sprouts, like I said, they went up on the price. They're $6.49. I got some mushrooms for $3.49. The organic chicken was $26.15. The um, non bread, that's what we use for 
pizza night. I keep that in the freezer. That was $4.49. The bread was, the honey wheat bread was $4.49. That's gonna go in my freezer. Some organic apples were, they were actually on sale. Usually these are $4.99, they were $3.59. The string cheese was $7.99. The queso dip was $7.99. Heavy cream was $3.49. The butter was a whopping $12.99. Seriously? $12.99. What are you doing, Costco? What are you doing? And the Hawaiian rolls were $5.59. Now I did buy my parents toilet paper and the toilet paper was $22.99, the Scott's toilet paper. Now the Scott's toilet paper is typically $22.99. It's pretty expensive. I prefer the Kirkland brand over the Scott's, but my parents like the Scott's. I bought that for them. People were literally like pointing to my cart like, where did you get the toilet paper? Well, she has toilet paper. How come she has toilet paper? Because I guess they were all out. Because I saw you guys, I showed you guys how much they had left. It wasn't many. But as the store got more and more crowded, people were like, where's the toilet paper? Where's the toilet paper? Um, a Costco employee did say that they were going to have toilet paper stocked tomorrow, the Kirkland brand. So um, they'll probably be out of the Scott's brand. And then they'll just, re they restocked it. They'll restock it with the Kirkland brand. Um, but yeah, it was just pure bedlam. But the fact that that butter was $12.99, I want to know if that was a planned price increase or if that's something like with the, um, you know, the increasing of the prices because of the coronavirus. Because I know for a fact that the paper towels in there, I forgot to show the price, but the paper towels were over $20. $20 and if you remember in that pre my previous Costco haul I just bought toilet paper maybe toilet paper and paper towels it had to be less than a month ago maybe three weeks ago it was um $16.99 each $16.99 for the toilet paper $16.99 for the paper towels and as a matter of fact as I was checking out there was a, an older woman who was like saying to me this is crazy why is this well she wasn't saying to me she was asking the attendant why is the paper towel so expensive that's not the normal price and he was just like, you know, it's not their fault. So he was just like, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know. But I, I just don't think that that's right. And I'm a little disappointed in Costco if they're increasing the price because of the coronavirus. Or maybe they're increasing, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt by saying maybe they're increasing the price because they're having to manufacture a lot more, a lot faster. And maybe that's what makes it expensive. And that can justify the $5 price increase. But over $20 that's just too much anyway leave your comments down below and let me know what you think what do you think about all this I mean it's just crazy right thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video bye the next day all right change of plans y'all I'm here right before Costco opens um to be the first one in to get a few more items finally here walking fast to the toilet paper everybody thinks they're gonna beat me but see, they don't know that I am a Costco professional and I know which way to go. Okay, the paper towels went back down to $16.99. You grab that. And it's for my mom. And oh, they don't have the Kirkland brand bath tissue. They have it. Look at this is all they have. You grab that. Oh, I'm out of breath, y'all. I made it, y'all. Okay, y'all, news flash. Let me update y'all. So, the coronavirus in Georgia has not been crazy, but yesterday a teacher uh, was diagnosed with the coronavirus and they shut down a, a whole county of schools. This is the largest county in the Atlanta metro area. And I'm not gonna lie, it did freak me out a little bit. <laughs> so, even though we're like, like more than halfway through a whole thing of toilet paper, for some reason, girl, the Costco toilet paper, like everybody's going crazy. I just showed you how much they had. They didn't have any yesterday. And I found out, remember, in the previous clip from yesterday, um, they said that they were gonna have some out. It's a very small amount. They're still limiting only two paper products per membership. My mom needed paper towels and I don't want them coming here. Um, like my, my mom and my dad are part of that. The people who are, they're telling, they literally are telling them not to go out in crowds, so. I'm not gonna risk that for my parents. So I will get that whatever I need for them. Um, I'm gonna stock up my freezer just in case, because I, I live in a large county in the metro area and if they shut down, um, I just want my freezer to be prepared. So I'm just gonna get a few freezer basics um, and canned goods uh, just to get us through this. Gonna get a bag of fries to keep in my freezer. Those are $6.59. I'm gonna get myself, well, I don't need any rice cauliflower because we have some. Okay, I'm also going to get 
a can, a box of, can, of um, canned green beans and a box of canned corn. One for my mom and one for us. This is what I'm talking about. My mom wants a, ca um, a case of corn. I'm gonna get a case of corn and I'm going to get a case of green beans. You get 12 cans. Now I know it's, it's best to use the fresh and or you can use the frozen green beans, but honestly, if I'm trying to stock up my pantry, um, that's, this is just the best bet for us. Now I'm trying not to go into like a spending frenzy and I'm trying to not let the media frighten me too much because <laughs> if this was the old Gia girl I would have bought up everything in the store just to be safe for my family my immediate family that's my parents my sister and my husband and my kids but I'm just going to use scents because even if nothing happens I'm still going to use these canned goods so it is what it is so I'm back from the store I did end up getting more toilet paper a can of green beans a can of corn and some fries uh, I also bought my parents some um, paper towels, a can of green beans, and a can of corn. Now, I will say this before you say, Gia, don't go crazy. And of course, I'm not, you know, I don't feel like I'm going crazy, but I am taking precautions because, like I said, my parents are in that group that should definitely not get it. As a matter of fact, my mom's doctor suggested to her not to go any crowded places at all. And if she has to do any shopping, doing it, do it at, um, non-peak time so I just want to be extra with that and that's why I'm buying this stuff for them for us in case we are quarantined I mean in case they do shut the school down um, for up to two weeks and you know I just want to be prepared and I just suggest that you be prepared for you and your family whatever your family's needs are as well we're all gonna get past this in the name of Jesus I'm a Christian so that's who I pray for I pray that I'm covered in the blood Lord and I pray that all you all are covered as well and I pray for your families that everybody is safe okay so this is the end of the Costco haul at this point thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture up above you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye